gang of kids form a band and are utterly in the moment. The new romantics or the blitz kids. You're the first band to incorporate fashion, music, and video. How did this come about? You just got to have the feeling in there of style. This is Tony, John, Dave, and Martin. I'm Gary, and we're Spandau Ballet. So Soulfuls of the Western World is a documentary using all of the archive footage that yep. you yeah. were starting and, and all yeah. through your career. What was it like to watch that back? Um. Toe curling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's a new word, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually only saw it together as a, as a band back in March when we were in America at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas at a film festival. And we'd sort of seen snippets of it before, but not all together. And that was quite tough because, you know, the, the middle bit of our story, our history, when we're all sort of bashing into each other and the reasons behind us all falling out is there on the screen, you know. Yeah. That was quite tough. Yeah, and also that you know people, as I've said before, people that are no longer with us, and you're watching sort I, of it, archive. Do of you really miss Thatcher that much? <laughs> yeah, <I mean. laughs> no, I, I found it. I found it quite upset in, in, in parts. But then there are some really funny bits as well. There are some, you know. Us mucking about and Father Christmas's head and stuff. Is <laughs> like I think the, the stuff that the, uh, the really uh, exciting stuff uh, for me is the sort of around the Blitz Club and the whole Soho scene and when we were first starting in 1979-80 and footage that we only just found last year of us on the HMS Belfast doing doing a gig there. And the energy that was in London, the yeah. creativity that was around, not just in London, I mean, they would have been the same in Birmingham, Sheffield, other cities all had their own clubs quite and scenes. Good, probably. But, you know, we were the house band at that time of, of what was really a, a new uh, youth movement, and uh, which went on to design the next decade, really. Tell me a bit about the fashions, because that must have been great to look back on. And what do your. Oops. Mm. There, you there, there you go. There you go. I mean, that's the I, Avengers. Yeah. It, it, it I, I is. Think it's superheroes. That's I the mean, other thing about being here today. Is you know you kind of realise uh, what we did was took the fashion that was going on in this building in this club, and we displayed it to the world, and it was we, the world that caught on. I mean, we were the musical, you know, uh, linchpin, if you like, of the whole thing that the national press could sort of connect with. Yeah. So you know, right. we had the music, yeah. we had the fashion. And of course, you know, we alienated a lot of the uh, the music press who didn't like Enemy and Melody Mia hated us, but the national press because they saw this and the music, and it was very different. Yeah, they loved it. After after punk, there really wasn't, you know, people didn't really know where to go. So it, it, the the natural sort of progression was to to oh, rebel yeah. against what had just gone on and start not dressing down and destroying, but building and looking looking forward and and, and glamorising the thing. That's so we all, so we all so we all look back. My point being, we all look back to, to sort of. Um, Glam in particular, and Bowie. The whole yeah. thing started with a Bowie night and Billy's. And his 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 philosophy was: you could, anyone can be a hero just for one day, and which is exactly what we, we did. Have your kids seen this? What yeah, they they're jealous. Yeah, yeah, they're, jealous. Yeah. they're not jealous of the fact we had success as a band. I think what make what my son is is, is envious of is uh, is how exciting and it all looked at that time. How daring people were, and slightly outrageous and wild, and and that. I don't think that is the case anywhere at the yeah. moment. No, I mean, it's probably the last decade where youth could really shock the establishment. I mean, I suppose near where oh. the establishment, but in those days sorry, you could no. still walk along the street like this, you know, stopping the traffic in, in New York, and there were people just going, oh my God, what's going on? You're like that. <laughs> so like, after the 2009 tour, hmm. what was it like the first time you played together again? After easy. Re oh, really get nice. easier and easier, and we've been working on some new songs as well, so yeah. it, it was. Fantastically easy. I'm always a believer that when things come together quickly and easily, then it's a good thing. Uh, from a standing start, we've got three fantastic new songs. So, um, yeah, I think uh, the older we get, the better we get. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're digging It's always it. slightly nerve-wracking, any big event that comes yeah. up. You know, you're, you're apprehensive about doing it. But you know, walking on stage with Spandau Ballet is, is, is such a gift. It's one of the greatest things. And thank God we, we got back together yeah. again so I could but do that, it. Really. That night isn't just about the Albert Hall. That night is about completely all over the country there's cinemas everywhere so over 250 yeah. cinemas They're showing the film and then showing us uh, the Q&A that we're doing afterwards uh, and then playing live so, so it's really, a simulcast yeah, really which is, is uh, playing to the whole country yeah. 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 I said to Gary I want a better end <laughs>